Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayson and thank you very much for joining me. We still at this present hold to a bearish case, even though we've had a long-legged doji for the Australian dollar and also some other significant signals, but the level of 67.4550 is holding. But we are trending, although overheating, but the technicals are still breaking down. If we do break beneath 67.45, then the target comes to 66.90 to 66.2045. Resistance at this day still holds and still likely to around 68.45 and minor 68.10. We did get a rejection overnight in front of the level of 112.7080 on the euro. And now gives us some clues that we could see a potential top forming around 112.7080. The market started this bull run from the hammer that was posted in front of the level of 110.05.20. And then from there, we've seen this rejection. The technicals are getting a little bit tired, so I do expect to see a turnaround. And if this long negative doji is in decisiveness, then we could see the market look towards the level of 111.85. And if we see a break there, then down to 111.20. Any advances, 112.45 to 112.90 should continue to cap. The dollar yen still posing a threat to the downside. It's not quite broke the level of 105.80, but it can and maybe expose the reason of 104.5. Any rallies could possibly be contained now at 106.6070. Little to say with sterling. With all the commotion going around the world, pound is totally ignoring the... Um, commotion that is, and trading sideways in front of this level of 112.2050. A break beneath here would be significant to say that so the market would look in towards 116 to 119, which does sound a little dramatic. Any advances sees resistance around 121.95. Gold is surging. It did get to a high of 1,490 this morning. Just $10 now away from its target of 1500 Since the break of the level of 55 the market has not looked back and still likely to pose a threat and continue on towards a potential target, as I say, of 1500 Wrapping up with oil, which slipped again under $54 a barrel and now poses further threat to the downside with a target, I believe, around $51 a barrel. Let's see if the market does reach there. From a technical point, it is breaking down. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. And I hope you enjoy the great start to this new day.